Hello, this is Eric of NotBios Tech and Reviews, and today I'm reviewing different batteries and testing battery life. For this testing, I'll be using the Zoom F3. This is a small miniature audio interface, and for this test, I'll be using a microphone with 48 volts phantom power. This one to be exact, this is the Audio Technica AT4040 microphone, which uses phantom power. And it's now time to do a quick overview of each type of battery. This is the X-Star, and this is 1.5 volts lithium ion, and it's 3,300 watt hours. And our charging cable is right here, USB type C to the charging device. You can charge one, two, four, or even eight batteries at the same time, and USB type A right here. So this charger, is the BC8. We're going to install the batteries in here so you at least can see what it looks like. I'm going to connect this to my little alarm clock that I have that has USB in it. Leave it to a tech tuber have all these little toys, right? And now we can see right here. Oh, there it goes. So we can see the ones that are charging right there, the red lights. And when it's fully charged, you'll see it go green just like it is right here. Now let's go to the next one. We have here Panasonic Any Loop Pro, and these are nickel metal hydride batteries at 1.2 volts. And this particular one I bought from Dell, and our lithium ion here, by the way, I bought from Amazon. Finding a good lithium ion battery is a hard task, and even finding a nickel metal hydride battery that's this sort of capacity of 2,500 little lower capacity, we're going to find out how this fares. And here we have the Panasonic Nickel Metal Hydride Charger. This is model BQ-CC17. And we can see this is wall plug-in and not USB like the other charger for the lithium ion battery type. This particular one is only for four batteries. To our last contestant, that is the Energizer Max. This is a alkaline type battery non-rechargeable so for reference these two are rechargeable this is for reference using a good non-rechargeable battery and in the past you wanted a non-rechargeable battery if you want a decent battery life and yes i purchased them of course this is a standard battery but these ones are a little less standard but generally if you want long battery life this is a known brand a known motto and this one is not so well known. The lithium market is flooded with brands that are not so safe to use, but this one seems to be one of the better options. Now, let's show that video footage. 25 minutes on. Anybody tell you? Gone way too far. No, nothing gonna help you when it falls apart. The prophets and the preachers told you, but you covered your ears, and now the end is near. Gonna tear it all down. Whatever you need, make a resolution, battle till you bleed. Prophets and the preachers warned you, but you waited too long, and now your chance is gone. Gonna tear it all down.
When it comes to batteries, things have definitely changed. It used to be that non-rechargeable were the way to go if you want long battery life, but we can see that both these batteries really exceed this non-rechargeable battery. And when it comes to charging these multiple times, you'll pay for this multiple times over. It's nice having rechargeables and not just throwing these away. So lithium ion or nickel metal hydride, that's up to you. The battery life wasn't hugely different, but of course I like the fact that this is 1.5 volts, which is a standard non-rechargeable voltage. I'm impressed this non-lithium ion and it was pretty darn close of a battle. This is Eric of Not Bios Tech Reviews. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you are subscribing now or are subscribed, you are awesome. Thanks again for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day.